Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Tanza and I'm the Assistant Race Director for She is Beautiful. We are so excited to partner once again with Girls Inc. for the eighth year in a row as our partnering charity for our event, Head Up Heart Forward Journey to September. So as many of you know, this year She is Beautiful will be a virtual event taking place on Saturday, September 19th. And we are so excited to have Girls Inc. on board as our benefiting charity. We love everything that they're doing to help girls be strong, smart, and bold. And we can't wait to see some of their girls virtually on the starting line in September. So in addition to being uh, the assistant race director for She is Beautiful, I'm also a doctor of physical therapy and I have a special interest and passion for helping runners and walkers because I found personally that running and walking makes me feel so good in my body and makes every other part of my life so much better when I can get out the door for a walk or run and I want to bring that to all of you. And you guys, I get it. Sometimes it's intimidating to think of yourself as you know, maybe saying, I'm not a runner, or that's not for me, that's for somebody else. And so I wanted to come in here today and give you guys some tips to make running and walking be a little bit more approachable and um, give you some tools to incorporate into your life. I know also some of you maybe have started a regular running and walking routine, but you might be thinking, hey, I kind of want to start challenging myself a little bit. I want to see if I could get stronger, if I could get faster. And so I have some tips for that too. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about how you could break into running and walking or how you could take your running and walking and get faster, stronger, quote, better at it, whatever that means, right? So let's start with somebody who has not run at all that's fine, right? It's it's so fun to be a beginner and start something new. Recognize that it's gonna be hard at first, right? Because doing new things is hard. So for someone who hasn't walked or run, or walked, um, sorry, who hasn't run regularly, what I always suggest to my patients is to do what's called a walk-run interval. So super simple, you guys. What this is gonna mean is that you run just for a short interval, and then you walk afterwards and you repeat that various times. What I see in a lot of my patients that actually end up showing up with running injuries is that they actually increase maybe how much they're running too fast, right? They, they say, you know, I haven't run at all. I'm going to go out and just try to run for 20 minutes. And in doing so, it's just a little bit too much for their body. Their, their tendons, their muscles haven't really gotten strong enough to handle that kind of pounding yet. Okay. So today, if you want to try this, get out the door walk for five minutes, run for 30 seconds, walk for three minutes, run for 30 seconds, keep going, right? Maybe do five of those. That feels easy. Maybe increase that time by 30 seconds. So maybe the next time you go out or maybe just the next week, you're running for a minute and then walking for three minutes. And you can start to slowly increase that. You can increase the time you're running or you can decrease the time you're walking or a little bit of both, right? So walk run intervals get up to doing about five or ten minutes and then after that you can say okay maybe i'm gonna just now only do two intervals because that's gonna be 20 or 30 minutes once you get up to that 10 or 15 minutes so that's a really really nice way to start it's a great way to keep yourself healthy i would suggest you know at least giving yourself one day in between doing this so not trying to say i'm gonna do this seven days a week maybe start out doing three days a week walk run intervals awesome such a great way to go from not ever running to, to running a little bit more. Next month, I'll also be talking a little bit more about running form and some tips for helping you actually, when you are running, quote, how to run. But for now, just get out the door, have fun, enjoy, okay? So now let's talk about somebody who, maybe you've done some running, maybe you're you know running 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour at a time, whatever, um, or you're walking those distances too, and you just wanna get stronger or faster. So two ideas for you guys. Number one idea, it's called um, a hill workout, right? So super easy. Well, it's easy in, in theory, right? It's, it's hard when you're actually doing it. Find a hill. And again, kind of like we talked about the walk-run intervals, do that same idea, but now do it up a hill. So maybe say, I'm going to do 30-second hill intervals. So maybe you run up the hill 30 seconds, turn around, go down two minutes. Run up the hill 30 seconds, come down. Start out maybe with four or five. You can increase then, maybe the next week you're trying to do those for a minute, maybe a minute and a half, right? Hill workouts, really, really great way to get strong and get faster. 
Another thing you could try if you're working on getting a little bit faster at your walking or running is doing what's called a fartlek. And I know it's kind of a silly word. It actually means speed play. And what that is, is taking time when you're running, getting the warm up in, but then running faster, let's just say for one minute, and then running slower for that same amount of time, one minute, and then running faster again for two minutes, running slower for two minutes and maybe working yourself up to doing like three minutes like that and then coming back down. You could say one minute, then two minutes, then three minutes, then two minutes, then one minute with that same amount of time as a rest afterwards. So those are two ways to work on getting stronger and faster, both those, um, the fart licks and then also the hill workouts. And as always, um, tune into our Instagram, Run She Is Beautiful for more tips. I'll be sharing a ton as we lead up to race day. Also, when you register for She Is Beautiful, you'll have access to training plans. They'll include uh, different levels. So the introductory level is someone who's really not walked or run almost at all, up to somebody who's running a ton or walking a ton and just wants to get faster. So those are included with you all free with registration. So registration, we would love you all to sign up. We have um, 50 spots reserved for Girls Inc. participants that are complimentary that will be getting a lot of girls on the starting line virtually with us. But we would love to have others in the Girls Inc. community sign up for the race. This is a fundraising opportunity. When you sign up, you already have a fundraising page created. Super, super easy that you can then email out to your friends and family and say, hey, I'm running She's Beautiful, raising money for Girls Inc. Can you just donate? Can you donate $10? Can you donate $25 and help me reach whatever your goal is? We and Girls Inc. are so, so grateful for all the people who are signing up to be part of Girls Inc. and who are going to be raising money on behalf of them. So sign up, runsheisbeautiful.com. You'll have all of your, um, your page already to go for your fundraising for Girls Inc. And every single month leading up to race day, we are having our virtual community meetups where we send you a playlist every month you can download and listen to on your walk or run. When you sign up, you also get free access to our yoga event that's happening at the end of this month on Saturday, June 27th. And so that's gonna be a complimentary um, yoga class on Zoom that's included with registration. And when you sign up, you will also get your swag bag and your race shirt sent to you before race day so you can wear it, you can show it off. And we just can't wait, we're looking forward to it. As I mentioned, join us on social media, share your photos. We wanna see where you're all training, how you're training as a family. Everything I mentioned is so awesome to do as a family. You guys can all get out there, do your walk runs together, do possibly a hill workout. In all ages, this is something that can be fun to have a goal to work towards as a family. Looking forward to talking to you. And again, I'll be back every month to share more tips on how to move towards Journey to September, head up heart forward with She is Beautiful. Thanks, Girls Inc., for letting us be a part of this and hope you all have a great month. Bye.